morning. How y'all doing today? Welcome to 83. This is the 83. I just watched one of the best races I've ever seen in my life, and that was the Eldora Der Derby. It's where they race uh, NASCAR trucks on a uh, dirt track in northern Ohio. And that was one of the greatest finishes I've ever seen in my life. By Briscoe nudging ahead! Get bigger coming and it's gonna be Chase Briscoe! I know a lot of y'all don't know much about NASCAR or auto sports or anything like that, but uh, when you see two cars slap each other right there in the start finish line, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that was my morning. I was also uh, coordinating a, uh, a new project that I'm working on with uh, one of my last clients as well. That takes a long time for them because they're, they're a traditional, what is it? You guys hear that? There's a church down there. The bells are ringing. I don't know what's going on. You hear that? I've been corresponding with this client for about a month, a little bit more than a month. It's not just one individual, it's like an entire company that I'm working with. They are a very Japanese company. They don't have any foreigners in the company. And that's one of the toughest things when you when you're working when you try to work fast and try to get you know get things hammered out and knocked out, you know, one at a time, it's like, okay, well let's we gotta keep running through a bunch of different uh, scenarios with all the managers and everything like that. I'm like all right, <laughs> so the key to working with a Japanese client like that is uh, patience and just kind of keeping the thumb down on the uh, on your end of the scale so you don't end up losing the client, not to somebody else, but just the sheer uh, inactivity. So that's what I've been working on today as well. I'm inside the New Day's convenience store inside every train station, or major train station at least. Getting a bottle of water. I have a... Uh, Don Quixote bag full of chew highs that I'm bringing tomorrow to the party. And the staff gave me this look. You know how you can sometimes read people's looks by, they don't say it out loud, but you know it exactly what they're saying. And this staff gave me the look of, why are you buying a, a bottle of tea when you have all these cans in your bag? And this is for tomorrow, not for today. <laughs> oh my God. Plus it's all alcohol. I don't, it's mid afternoon, I ain't drinking alcohol. <laughs> Alright, Shinjuku Station with, uh, oh it's Bernie! <laughs> she came back to Japan! I'm back for holidays! Wait, how long are you going to be here for? Uh, I'll be in Tokyo for, I think, three days. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm only nice. in Japan for a week. Oh, wow. Did you get, you get you get enough sightseeing done? Not really doing much sightseeing, more of just, like, eating and hanging out with friends. That's the way to do it. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. That's, like, the only thing you can do in Tokyo, really. Eat and hang out with friends. All right, hell yeah, we're gonna go to Toriki or I don't know where we're eating at. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with whatever as well. There's Lisa and Dana. Yeah. We're doing a whole we don't know what to eat thing. We're gonna get food. Yeah, there's Lisa. All right, let's go get some food. Ready? Yeah. Push it hard. You gotta put some put some elbow grease in. Kanpai. <laughs> I was wondering what all the noise is. There's a crane outside my apartment. It's hauling what I think is an air conditioner skyward. Yeah, you can't see it because it's really grainy, but I'm driving this very, very slowly to this roof over here. Alright, there it goes. They like to do uh, construction work at night over here, I guess. Afternoon, welcome to Sheebs. Look at all the people behind me in this alleyway. This uh, Starbucks shop behind me is a gym, and today is Zapdos Day. Now, I already played Zapdos Day for myself, I caught five of them including one shiny, so that was awesome. I didn't film that because I was like, oh my god, Zapdos, time to catch everybody. <laughs> but everybody in this city is just playing Pokemon Go non-stop. It reminds me of what happened two years ago when the game first came out. It's amazing. All right, glow hats on. We're getting all set up for the glow party. This is amazing. All right, oh God, wow. Hey, we're at the glow party. We're glowing. You guys glowing? I got a glow hat. Yeah, I know. 
This is going yeah. on your YouTube? Yeah. Awesome. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Hello. I'm lighting, I'm lighting everybody up with my hat. Glow party is always fun. Got some Burger King. I'm on my way to Chigasaki. Great party last night. Thank you, Sophie and Mike. That was excellent. I still need my weekend beachness. <laughs> See that guy in all, in all white over there? That's Makoto. I spotted him and he was way over there. I could spot Makoto a mile away. <laughs> it's so hot. I'm sweating profusely. I love this beach. <laughs> <laughs> this dude brought his dog. That's a big dog. That was a great weekend, but my neck, my neck, like this. All right here is just really sore. I think it's just from swimming aggressively in the ocean yesterday. But uh, I know I said last week that I think I said three times last week that it was the hottest day of the year at some point during one of the uh, days that I filmed last week. But today is literally the hottest day of the year. Temperature right now is 98 degrees, and in some parts of Kanto, it's hit a hundred. So. Hey, Kanto, welcome to Arizona. <laughs> it's not so humid today, which is kind of weird, which makes it actually feel like I'm in Arizona. But you know, I'm so used to the temperatures that this isn't like bothersome for me at all. But at the same time, I spent most of the morning in my office. And I'm just walking down the street to get lunch. But I got a meeting later today with uh, one of my clients. And then after that, I'm meeting a friend for dinner. So yeah, I'll be outside the rest of the day. <laughs> not paid to say it either. I just drink it a lot. Mm. They were giving them out at Pride and Pride was really warm this year so uh, I had like five of these drinks because it was just so hot and now I just drink them all the time. It's called, I don't even know what they're called, Lifeguard? Yeah, Lifeguard. I just like the artwork on it as you can see. It is 100 Fahrenheit here in Sheebs. Exactly 100 Fahrenheit. Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona, everybody who lives in Tokyo. <laughs> if you don't know, that's like it's exactly 38 in Celsius for those of you who are snobs about the metric system. But yeah, my God, I, I, I can't remember when it was this hot before. I love it, but everyone else I know is suffering. <laughs> I thought yesterday was as hot as Phoenix, and I saw in Phoenix it was 118. We will never beat Phoenix over here in terms of temperature. <laughs> I mean, today's a lot less hot. Feels like Phoenix in March. <laughs> I don't know, I'm having fun, but everyone else I know is suffering, so sorry, everybody. <laughs> 
the best way to beat the heat is just to uh, kind of force your body to get used to it as well. Living in Arizona, I got used to the temperature, just not the humidity, so I always recommend drinking plenty of liquids. And don't exert yourself too much outside or else you're gonna end up, well, that shoe show is not fun, is it? <laughs> and also make sure you have a uh, you know regular diet. Don't cut out food because uh, it's not summer food or whatever. Just eat what you normally eat and do what you normally do throughout the day. Just make sure liquids, that's all you need. Once again, not sponsored by whoever the hell these guys are. It's just, I love this, I love this drink. <laughs> if they want to sponsor me, yeah, please. <laughs> I'm never gonna get sponsored with my channel the size it is. <laughs> What is this weather? It's just not hot. Alrighty then. Tokyo with your bipolar weather. I just triggered everybody in the West Coast. I love making this vlog. I really do. This is one of the things I look forward to every week, editing the uh, vlog, but at the same time it's like I need to think of more different things to upload to this channel besides a weekly vlog. It used to be I had a lot of footage that I was able to edit and upload that I, you know, for the weekend or something like that, but nowadays it's just work and then whatever I'm doing on the weekend, that's not really fun, right? And that's why I only uploaded one video for the last week or last few weeks. And that's just this piece of Z. I have bigger projects in the pipeline, like some short films, a documentary that I'm working on with a, a client of mine, but those are gonna take a while. So I wanna know, do you guys think I should bring back an old series, like the Thirsty Thursday series, or like a food series or something? They're short, easy to make, but they're not really, they don't make views, they don't, they're not popular. This vlog series gets a lot of views, but I think that's just because the algorithm recognizes it as something that's like a staple to my channel, right? I like where I'm going with the channel. I like where, what, what I'm producing. But at the same time, you know, I've mentioned this quite a few times before. I don't like stagnation. The channel's been at 1,800 subs for about five months now and I haven't really grown from there. I gotta figure out what to do next. So I would love any feedback in the comment section, especially when it comes to uh, different video ideas. And I would like to produce more videos with more YouTubers because I kind of realized this as well. Most of my YouTuber friends, they're not really YouTubers anymore. Like Lisa doesn't make videos that much anymore. And most of my other YouTuber friends that I, you know, who were YouTubers, they've left the country. Maya's not on YouTube. Ami's not on YouTube. And I think the only person I see regularly that's a YouTuber is Sophie, right? I gotta find more YouTubers to collaborate with. And I, I don't want people to think this is some sort of like, oh, Zach's just trying to ride the coattails of someone famous. It's just, I don't know, people's schedules don't match up or something, right? So, I don't know. I'd like to work with some of you guys. Don't matter, you know, it's irrespective of your channel size, so. Let me know if you guys wanna do something together. <laughs> All right, well that's it for this week's Piece of Z. I'll see y'all later.